Citizen TV, the citizen power. And I mean, Kebo Sane. Sneak, Sane, are you all? What was she can you watch her war? Oh, what can I tune in 30, 40 years? Connie me coming here, show how me troll, look, Pente. Leave our hotels alone. Leave their lands alone. Eja ke si ahong kwe bo oba ni na. Hewo, inye bi me. Ene wo wo he sane snit sane wo wo shika sane ayo. Hewo nye ha ni wo hi adra yehe. Inke inye mi ke kumsi ya organized labor TUC workers Ghana Federation of Labor Medical. This is a struggle for the safety of Ghanaian workers, the future of our children, the future of our brothers and sisters. This is about job security, this is about pensions, this is about ensuring that the ordinary worker does not go home crying. This is a match devoid of partisan politics. It has to do with the future of workers. And we are happy that you have gathered here in your numbers. This will succeed. This will succeed. This will succeed. This will succeed. Thank you very much. So, I invite the chief whip in parliament to also give us a word. Honorable Kwame Governor Sakuja. Cho boy! Cho boy! This is a very good morning. And we thank all of you for coming. And we are about to start. But let this be a message to government, irrespective of which government will come today or tomorrow, that you can no longer take the people of this country for granted. My brothers and sisters, the hotel we are talking about is a strategic national asset. This hotel is more profitable than the organization that is trying to buy it. Where is the principle under this? It has nothing to do with any individual. If the name of the person behind is even Kwame, Kojo, Amma, or Kujeto, the principle under which we are protesting would have been the same. In any case, not too long ago, government under President Kufuado came to parliament that we should build more hotels. They came and said we should give tax waivers to a lot of hotels. In fact, since we gave the tax waivers, some of the hotels haven't laid one block after taking the tax waivers. And then they went further to insist that the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund should by force invest in the platinum property to build Pullman Hotel at the airport. They said government should invest $50 million. After investing $25 million, they have abandoned the project at the airport. So where is the evidence that this government have got a record of improving any hotel in this country, including the, their own? So this is to say that enough is enough. And I want to commend the TUC and all labor organizations. They are saving their own future. When my mother, who is also a pensioner, contributes to the SNCC throughout her life, you cannot just hand it over willingly to somebody because he's in government. I think this is wrong, and we want to take the opportunity to commend Honorable Okuje to Ablakwa for initiating this. And the entire minority is solidly behind this. And we thank you very much for this. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, we will now take the last word from Honorable Kujato. Then we will give you the instructions as we move. So with a round of applause, shall we invite Honorable Kujato? Joe boy! Joe boy! Joe 
boy. Today, all those skeptics who were saying that Ghanaians will be quiet, Ghanaians will not turn up, Ghanaians will sit idle and allow their treasured state assets, our prize hotels, to be given away for a song in an unconscionable, obnoxious conflict of interest transaction. They have been put to shame. Look at the numbers today. Look at how many Ghanaians have come out since 6 a.m. Ghanaians are on their feet and they are saying enough of the state capture. I want to commend all of you. I want to congratulate all of you. This is just the beginning of the struggle and you have encouraged all of us in the leadership, the TUC, the Federation of Labor, the Minority Caucus, the Gadangbe Caucus, the La Youth Association, all the political parties who are coming together to organize this non-partisan national protest. You have made all of us proud. The people of Teshi, the people of Krowo, the people of Ashaman, we salute all of you. We also want to specially thank the Wulomai. I don't remember the last time I saw the Wulomai. For the La Wulome himself to come out today with all the traditional leaders to give us his blessings, to pour libation, and to ask that our ancestors should protect us on this march and to give us victory on this march. I want to salute the Wulome. God bless him. May all our ancestors bless him. This tells you that this matter is not a joke. If this, see how beautiful and magnificent this glorious edifices are if they are good for honorable Bria Champo, if they are good for the sons of Freddie Blay they can be good for all Ghanaians that is what we are saying it is not true as you have seen that these hotels are collapsing it is not true that they have been run down it is not true that they have become ramshackle if you listen to some of them on radio you will think that coming here today we will not even get a decent place to stand by you will think that we are coming to see an eyesore but all that propaganda has been exposed that is why we decided to start in front of the labadi beach hotel we will also go to la palm royal and you will see how magnificent these hotels are when Rock City last year was filing losses at the GRA. Labadi Beach Hotel, this hotel in front of us, made profit of 158 million Ghana cities. Between Labadi Beach Hotel and Rock City, who should be buying who? Which of the hotels should be buying the other? So this cannot be about any savior no. coming to save these hotels. Already there is no value for money. SNIT's own valuation report says that these four hotels should go for $121 million. Brian Champo is offering only $61 million. He's going to pay over a three-year period. It's a work and pay arrangement. He will only use the proceeds from Labadi Beach Hotel for this transaction. We are saying that if he has any great ideas to transform hotels, that is why he's in cabinet. He should bring it to bear at the cabinet. Why is it that he can only bring those ideas to bear when he buys the hotels and they become his private property? Is that patriotism? No! Is that patriotism? No! Is that nationalism? No! Is that love for country? No! That is why the people of Ghana are saying, Walk Bene! Walk Bene! So we want to admonish you. This is going to be a very peaceful protest. We don't want any violence. We are going to proceed to La Palm Royal. You see how La Palm Royal is. It is not true that it has been run down, it has collapsed. It is not true. From there, we will use the Elwak Road. We will walk all the way to the cantonments intersection. Take a left through the cantonments post office through italian embassy russian embassy dvla parks and gardens we are going all the way to the christ the king church 
They say that they don't want us to go too close to the Jubilee House. I hear some of you call it uh, Julobi House. We are going to terminate at the Christ the King Church and then we will receive the, the delegation that will come and accept our petition. Our petition will be very, very clear. We want President Akufuado today, by close of day, to announce that they are backing off this transaction. They are aborting this sale. This sale is just state capture, pure and simple. It is just another lutocratic scheme. We will not accept this and we are not going to allow anybody to take over these hotels. That is the message we are sending. And we want all of you to cooperate with us. The match starts now. Thank you very much. Citizen TV, the citizen power.